Hi guys, welcome to Vlogmas 2022. My name's Gemma. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you're not new here, hello. Got my hot chocolate again. This one, I'll tell you about this one. This one is Swiss Miss, which is, I think is an American hot chocolate. And it's got, um, oh, what's that cereal called? Lucky Charms marshmallows on the top. Hmm. I've never had Swiss Miss hot chocolate before, but it's really nice. I got those from B M and Bargains. I got them for the Halloween treat bags, if you remember. I really love them. Um, but I did look online to see how much Swiss Miss hot chocolate was to buy in like a big container. And it was like really expensive. So today I've been to One Below and Poundland. I didn't get much from Poundland, but the two things that I did get are sort of exactly the same as the things in One Below. So I thought I'd combine this haul because literally they're the same shop, are they not? Do you think? I think they are sort of like the same shop. So I'll show you those four items. So this one was the Poundland one and it's a Father Christmas mug. The majority of this stuff is for going to be for my hot chocolate station. Um, they're two pound the mugs this year. They used to be a pound. I feel like I'm saying that all the time. I've got a really bad cough. Um, and my nose is all red and I just feel a bit horrible today but anyway let's press on um that's why i'm in my dressing gown so with yeah the father christmas i thought this is a really cute mug to be fair um and two pound isn't bad um yeah cute so the equivalent they did have a father christmas in one below but i didn't like his face as much so i got the snowman instead to compare the two i don't know now i did like this I did like the Poundland, they're very lightweight mugs. They're made of like a cheap ceramic. You know the type of mugs that you get in the cheap shops. Um, I like this handle better because I didn't like this sticky outy handle, but now holding them, I don't know. I think this one is like, I don't know, more like ooh, warm and cozy, more of a handle to hold on to. But they're both nice mugs, but they're both very similar. and. I think he was two pound. He was either one pound fifty or two pound. One below is a little bit cheaper than the pound shop. I think he was one pound fifty. Um. So yeah, the Father Christmas wasn't quite as nice as this one in there, but it was similar if you wanted to pick one up. But I think they're they're going to look nice on the hot chocolate station. Whether I'll use them or not, I don't know. I might do it a couple of times. They had some really nice mugs in the pound pound land. Um, which were copies off Ray Dunn. If you've seen, I've seen it in TK Maxx, I had to resist buying it. Um, it's like a Christmas tree one with the topper on and they've got like one that's obviously trying to copy off that in the pound land for three pound. Um, I just didn't think I'd use it at all, so I didn't get that, but kind of wishing I did. There's one in TK Maxx, which is the Ray Dunn one, and I think that's they're six ninety nine. I think. And then the other, oh, where's the other one? And then I got the, the salt and I have to remember now, which is which. I think, shout at me if I'm wrong. I think these ones are the Poundland ones. And these ones are from one below. They were both a pound, um, which you can't really go wrong with. For one pound 25. I got these, for, I know they're salt and pepper shakers, but I got them for the hot chocolate. I'm not going to use them as that. I mean, you could put chocolate powder in and shake it on. I'm just going to use them as like little decor on the hot chocolate stand. I've seen other people do that. So this one, I'm really confused now. I think this is the one below one with that, with that plainer packaging. You've got a little Father Christmas. And I think that Father Christmas's face was like the one the mug it wasn't quite as as as, as cutesy as this mug, father christmas it was more like that sort of a face not that he's not cute he is he's got a red nose like me um and a little penguin so this one set has also got a little penguin but he's different i think this is the pound land one but they're just so similar 
So I've got two little penguins for the hot chocolate sun. So you've got a little polar bear. He's really cute and a little penguin. And he's actually really cute as well. Let's compare the two penguins. So they are totally different. If you can hear that noise, it's just a washing machine. It's annoying, isn't it? I should have switched it off. Um, yeah, they are both different, but super cute, aren't they? So yeah, you can get those from Pound Shop and one below. I wouldn't say... These ones are bigger. So I think the Poundland ones are slightly bigger. Slightly, not much. So everything else is from one below. Now I know this bunting was two pounds and I got this because I do love this um, Hessian sack style, what's it called? A rustic Hessian Merry Christmas bunting. So I do love this sort of bunting. I did have a Hello Autumn one that I've just taken down from the fireplace. Um, and I thought I'd get this one as well. So it says it's two metres. It just says Merry Christmas. Um, you can see it there on the back. Um, and I thought that was cute for £2. They're much more expensive. I looked at them on Amazon. Because that's where I got the Hello Autumn one. Um, they were literally £6. Hmm. Those marshmallows that they put in the cereal are nicer than any marshmallow we have. They're so sweet. So for the hot chocolate stand, I got one of these little... I was going to get a couple of these, but I discovered we had a few larger ones in the cupboard. I just got this little one, um, maybe for marshmallows or sprinkles or something. They didn't have any like festive ones, but I thought the white ribbon would sort of go. I could swap out the ribbon if I wanted to, but they're only a pound. And they're only, that's a small size if you compare to the cup. And then um, I just got some two-tone twine for wrapping and decor and stuff. That's a pound. If they're not a pound, they're one pound twenty-five. I don't know where the receipts are, to be honest. Um, I got this little reef. I thought these are really cute. They've got slightly larger. They're only tiny, and it's going to be for the um, the tiered stand or the hot chocolate station. Not quite sure, but I thought they were really cute for a pound one twenty-five. Um, and they're just the cranberries there. And some of them are a bit flopped. So I got, I've picked up the cheaper range. I've got some mistletoe. And what else did I get? And I got this one too. A berry pick. So that one's cute. You can you can buy these and you can put these in your Christmas tree, you know. I, I think if I had some more money, I would literally buy loads of these. And I think they'd look so nice, like to bulk out your Christmas tree a little bit without actually adding like bauble on, on the branches. Um, I showed you that one. And then the other things I bought from One Below were, again, I think these were 99p. And these are so nice. They're like a felt decoration. This is a mistletoe one. And I don't know if I'm going to put these on the tree or elsewhere. And I got a reef one and they're just really well made, to be honest. Um, I'm not actually just saying that because normally I will complain about the, the quality of things. But these are really well made. I was impressed. I'm like, oh, I'll have to find him. I've got a gingerbread man as well. I'll find him in a second. And then I got this twine, which I think will be useful for the hot chocolate stand. It's holly wire. So it's a wire and it's like... I don't know what the end is. No idea where the end is, but it's like that. Can you see? Um, I think that'll be really nice for decorating. That was one twenty-five. Um, these little Christmas trees are a pound. I did think um, it was going to be fiber optic because it says fiber optic, but when you switch it on, it's like just there. 
which was a bit disappointing because to me fiber optic is like inside the tree but oh well they are quite cute for the hot chocolate stand and then i also got these little pound just a little wire christmas trees um i got that size for the small ones you get six in there and for the bigger ones you get three for a pound so they're a pound each again they're for the hot chocolate stand if I can get them to stand up in it. Um, what else did I buy? Oh yeah, I think this is the last thing. Yeah, um, some candy cane decor for the Christmas tree or the hot chocolate stand. I have got two packs of these and I don't know where the other one is. Which is a bit annoying. I found the gingerbread man. So yeah, he's a pound as well. He's cute. He can go on the hot chocolate station, I think. Um, because I did want to get some more like gingerbread ornament ornaments, but I didn't. I just didn't. So that's that. So stay tuned for the hot chocolate vi stand video because I'm looking forward to that. I've been like obsessively watching other people's. Mine won't turn out as good as like, you see on other people's videos, but never mind. And the last item I got was this little church. These are two pound from one below. I'm hoping mine works, and it does. Yes, it says it's a Christmas LED house ornament. Oh, I guess it is. It could be a house. I thought it was like a church. I got that for the display as well. I thought it was cute. It's got some nice little stars and things around the roof. And that's it. That's all of it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. Let me know what your favourite item was in the comments down below. And I will see you again, hopefully, tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. Hope you're enjoying Vlogmas. Don't forget to stick around for tomorrow's video. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.